Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Copper Owl, bringing you a view into Star Wars droids Boba Fett. I used to be the biggest Star Wars fan. And give me one second, let me grab this thing. Where is he? 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 Just give me one second, people. Find this thing. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. It's around here somewhere. Oh, here he is. So I used to be the biggest Star Wars fan. <laughs> and I am, again, it's like I, I love Boba Fett. It's my favorite character. Well, one of my favorite characters. And so much so, it's my, I st still have fondness over him. So I still use a um, avatar, of, a Boba Fett. But I prefer to, I always like the concept art one. If you're watching any of my earlier videos, you can see that I made a Lego Boba Fett from the concept art, as you can see right here. And all that. So, so when I saw that, that they were making a, another, they've made concept art ones in the past, but when I saw that they were making one based off the droid series and all that, you know what, I, I felt like I had to get it. And obviously it's not really the one based off droid series, it's actually just a black series, Boba Fett that's been repainted and all that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up. I got it for $25 at Target. Also, Target was having some nerf sales. So it was either buy a $17 Eagle Point or buy this. And I thought about it, and I thought, and that's like, those Leaf Springs do. Do hurt it. Then something in the box. It's like the um, the warranty stuff. With everything. Let's see. Here he is. Let's get him out. With the plastic. His. Cape seems to be made of that starchy fabric material. Kind of like the Lego cape, actually. It's all crinkly. Like this part is like a painted on thing, so it's now all crinkly. So thanks a lot, Hasbro. Let's see. His articulation. His little. Belt things are in the way, but it looks like he could articulate all the way if these weren't here. But he has those. Yeah, his legs can't move forward, they can move back, hindering him a bit. Arm articulation's okay. A bit stiff on the wrist. But, uh, does this rotate? Yeah, look, it rotates. Because I believe his wrist thing should be on the side of his arm, not on the under, under part. There we go. It's more accurate. He does, hey, he has the little thing right there for the flamethrower. His hair braids. I like this. Let's get his jetpack and stuff out. His legs are kind of weird. They're a bit to the side. But he does have these little leg movements right there. So let's get his jetpack out. His standard jetpack. There we go. And 
rest of him. Whoops. So we have his E33 bat blaster. How do we get it into his hands, though? That's a good question. Because it, it's not one of those open up hands. There we go. Get in there. There we go. Let's see if we can get him to hold it right. Do the proper pose with it. You can sort of do it. You can sort of do the pose. Man, he's so stiff. Look at how stiff that is. It looks like it's a ball joint, so... Yeah, so... Yeah. See. My goodness. And here's his a um I forget I don't know what this is called, this blaster. You know I know it's based off of, it's a Bergman. I know it's a Bergman pistol. But I don't know what it's based off of. I mean what it's called in lore. But I like I like that you could actually holster the pistol. That's really nice. You don't get that a lot these days. Usually you get like a figure who has the pistol, pistol holstered already, and you get a separate pistol without that's out of the holster. That's really nice. So. Yeah, and this one is a lot looser though. Let's see. I just wanna have him pose, so. The movie he held like this, which that is the problem. He he can't really hold it with his hand. Now, can he? No. Oh. Gonna really um get him in there. Gonna really f force him to wear it. Yeah, he can't really hold it with his hand. You gotta just stick it right there. So yeah, he kind of gets, to, he kind of has the look going, <laughs> going, let me, looks cool. The rangefinder does not move, which is sad. You can't really get the, this end of the blaster out in his hand, so. So I assume with like the picture on the box, it's supposed to one arm this thing? See if we can get him to look like what's on the box. This little piece right here is kind of giving me trouble. I can't really. So he's looking at it. Through there. And then. He's no, you can't really do it because it's sort of you could sort of do it like this. I don't like how his feet don't move forward. But also, again, this is a bolt. This is not the same Boba Fett from the um from the cartoon. You can see by the look of his gun belt and all that. Interesting. Cool looking action figure. But really, it's just, it's very inarticulated. It's very, it has all this other stuff on it, which is accurate to Boba Fett, by the way. He does have these little knee, knee blaster things, but man, look how, look how tight that is. And again, he can't move his foot forward. That's a big, that's a, to me, that's a design flaw because he should be able to do so. He can't. And the cape. The cape is the worst because of how they packaged it. So now it's like it's all out there. See that? Well, I like that they have the little straps. To be the things I hold on to. 
in the blaster. Let's see, can he... Because this is not a cape. This is a sariche or sari... I don't know how you say it. It's supposed to go over him like a poncho. Like this, sort of. Yeah, it's supposed to cover him like a poncho. He is partly based off the man with no name. So, it's not really doing that. Some other Boba Fett's don't have that feature either where it does that. But look look how much the cape is just bending because of how they packaged it. Instead of it being one cloth piece made out of two different colored cloths, all they did was just paint over this piece of cloth with a... Yeah, with the paint material. And look at that. It's just so it made it so stiff. And it doesn't want to look right. And again, like if you look on the box, it looks like a proper cape. And all that. Also, the blaster's a bit bent. Look at the telescope. All that. So, neat looking figure. He's just... It's just not right because he is. This isn't the right Boba Fett. This is the um, the regular normal Boba Fett we all know and love. Just repainted to look like his concept art version or the Droid Tales version, but also it's just a really just really stiff figure. He has the pauldron in the way, so he can't move his arms all the way up. So I don't know. I might return this. This is very disappointing. Again, it's cool if you want him just to st like for a kid to play with this. I I don't see the value in, in it. If this was fifteen dollars, I could understand. But it's twenty five because it used to be these figures used to be fifteen dollars, and it's not really an inflation thing. It's like a few years ago, these things were still twenty five dollars and all that. And let me guess, they want you to hold, let's see if he even holds on to his Bergman. Oh, I could barely get him in there. Also, how is he supposed to draw it? That always bothered me, like you're supposed to give him his pistol. My goodness, this... Like the Fortnite figures, at least you can open up their hands. It's some people don't like it, some people do. Man, I'm bending the toy. I am bending the figure. It's the the blaster. Let's see. Let's put it in his right hand. I like that it's stylized too. There we go. It fits perfectly fine in his right hand. So I guess they wanted you to use it for his right hand. He's no good to me dead. But would I buy this figure? Should you buy this figure? If it was on sale for like $15, I guess so. Because this thing is really much a, a drag. If you're going to put it on your... If you're the kind of guy who buys these things to put them on display and all that stuff and never touch them again, or just resell, never open them from the box and resell them as scalper, then yeah, you're going to buy it anyway. You don't care if the figure is good or not. You don't care if it's actually accurate to the actual movie and all that and I think you're just like oh I just want Boba Fett and it's like yeah I wanted I just want Boba Fett but it's like this is still a toy at its heart it should still be able to be played with yeah they're expensive they're, they're toys for adults really but it's like I should still be able to make like a little stop motion with this thing and all that and uh, like a neat stop motion idea I had was freaking having the Arbiter fight Rowdy Roddy Piper. It makes sense in context. And it happened. But again, it's like cool, cool fit looking figure. Get him to do a pose. The Han Solo pose. Yeah. So, so yeah, that, that's really neat. It's neat that he does that. It's just they ruined the cape. You can't use his hands too well, and I don't know. I kind of like it, but I also kind of kind of think it's not really worth the price. I could have been I could have bought a brand new razor 
like an actual razor, which I went for. I went to the store to buy a razor, and I bought this instead. And it's like, I don't think it's, I don't think it was worth it. Fifteen dollars for this quality, maybe. Twenty-five dollars is no. This it was just too expensive, and again, they ruined the cape. So, ten dollars is great. This is, this is just the best deal for ten dollars, and. I look at the detailing and I'm like, what detailing is there? You it based off the cartoon, all of this should be like weathered and everything like that. Like the dent should have a little bit of silver on it, but no, it's the cartoon. The cartoon doesn't even have the dent. So there is really not much detailing as a detailed figure. It's just not individually detailed. Well at least the wrist thing is. But those those buttons have colors to them and it's all that. These have colors to them. Uh, look closely at it. It's supposed to be silver. All the things supposed to be silver. His little toe things are supposed to be silver, and they're silver on the box. So I don't know. Maybe I'm going to return this, because this was a huge letdown of a figure. And all that. It's still... Again, it's still cool to look at, but again, I don't want to just look at him. I kind of want to fiddle around with him and all that. He's good with the pistol. I like him with the pistol. And again, he should have come with the, the red rod. What is and all that? Oh, that's cool. Look. It knows this. I guess they based this off the, um, the one that has the little rocket eco fire. That's interesting. Huh. But yeah, it's like... Why... Why not do, do that? Just... I don't know. Leave it down in the comments section if I should return it. Or if I should keep it. If you watch this video. But... I'm going to continue talking for the next minute because the video tends to cut out in the last minute. So let's do this. Thank you very much. Good night. So, assuming the video doesn't cut out, again, it's like, he can't really put his feet together either. Okay, bye-bye.